I encountered these two kids on the street. They, uh, they were they were beggars professionally. They they went to the store uh, where the rich Americans go uh, because they know we always have money. And then I asked them to show me where they live uh, as, as part of my learning experience. And they, it was my first encounter with someone who who did live in the sewers. And uh, I asked I asked why why do you like to live in the sewers? I was I was doing this all through a translator. And I learned that they like to live in the sewers because in the winter when it's, gosh, I don't know, negative 20, negative 25 up on street level, they like to, they like to hug the steam pipes that feed the whole city with hot water and it's heat. And they run down there in the manholes. And a lot of the times, sometimes the manhole covers have been locked up by the government uh, for safety reasons because what will happen is sometimes the pipes were so old that I saw kids that... Uh, the pipes had actually burst and, and burned them uh, while they were down there sleeping and they would rotate so that the kids up top wouldn't get hypothermia and, and uh, so the kids down below wouldn't hopefully be, be too warm for too long. But this was their home and they showed me and uh, it was a real eye opener for me. I had never really uh, encountered anything like that in, in person before I'd seen it on TV. And, You know, it, it wasn't just street kids that I encountered uh, in, in my journey ar- around the countries. It was, it was also kids in orphanages, and, you know, they um, their lives were a lot different than the kids I had met on the street. Uh, they went to school, and they had clothes, and, and they ate pretty well, and, you know, they were, they were pretty well taken care of in a lot of cases. And that's when it struck me, uh, going through those different places and meeting all those kids, is that the problem is the same, whether you live on the street or in a home. So that is why we do what we do. And our favorite part, and what you're about to see, is watching people just like you and me do their best to shine a light into that darkness. So that is pretty much us in a nutshell, and I want to thank you for taking the time out to watch this, and as you're sitting there, I would love for you to consider being a part of helping us write this story as it continues, uh, whether by monthly sponsoring a kid to financially allow them to come to camp, or uh, by physically coming yourself, because as much as we would like to have every child out there uh, be able to come, we know we can't, but for every volunteer that comes, that's another two kids that get to make the journey to camp and hopefully have their lives impacted in in an amazing way. So again, thank you, and I look forward to seeing you this summer.